Hey guys, what's going on? It's iTouch stuff here that's spelled with a zero, and today I'll be showing you guys how to unroot your Kindle Fire running version 6.2.2, which was rooted using the Clockwork Mod Recovery. Um, so this is for all the users who followed my previous tutorial on how to root. If you want to check that out, link will be down below in the description or an annotation on the screen right now. Uh, and that is how to root your Kindle. This is how to unroot it if you don't want all of the good stuff that comes with it. So as you can see, I do have super user right here, and I also have root checker. So I'll go ahead and just verify that I do have super user permissions. And there you go. Congratulations, you have root access, all that good stuff. Um, so this device is rooted, it's running 6.2.2, and we're going to go ahead and unroot it. First order of business is to go ahead and shut down the device by holding the power button down, and then click shut down. It'll power off. Uh, as soon as it's fully powered off, you want to go ahead and turn it back on. And as you can see, it's green right now, and it says to hold it down. Hold it down until it turns orange. And then the Fire 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 bootloader will go ahead and boot up the Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we are now in Clockwork Mod Recovery. We have a bunch of different options here. Uh, the one that we want is to go all the way down to Mounts and Storage and click the Select button in the top right. And then go down to Mount USB Storage. Click there, get your micro USB, which I need to find. Here it is, if I can plug this in. Uh, which side does it go in? There we go. Uh, and now that it's plugged in, you don't want to leave this screen, but you can go ahead and now go to your computer uh, and head down to the link in the description, which is downloadandroidrom.com with a file. Um, you also want to make sure that your Kindle is recognizable in Finder as it is right here and it's mounted. So that uh, download over here, click here to download, and you'll save this to 183 megabytes. Um, so it should take a while, but be patient. It's worth it in the end if you're looking to do uh, a full restore, getting rid of everything. This includes Clockwork Mod Recovery and uh, a factory restore. So after that file is downloaded, uh, keep the Kindle file open. You can just go ahead, minimize it for the time being. And we want to go ahead and work on this file right here known as update whatever dot bin. Hit enter, and then you want to type in update. So we're going to rename it to update.zip. Make sure it is a .zip file. Hit enter, and if it asks to keep .bin or use .zip, click use .zip. And let's go ahead and navigate once again back into the Finder window that we once had open with Kindle. That's not it. It is right here. And go ahead, and what we want to do is drag in the update.zip right to the root of the Kindle Fire SD card. Uh, so just drag and drop that on there. It'll take, again, like, what? 20 to 30 seconds to finish. You can see I already have it, update.zip. And what this file basically does, this is a full restore to 6.2.2, so it'll be all fresh and new once we're done. Now we can go ahead, after that has been put on the root of the SD card, we can come back to uh, the Clockwork Mod Recovery and go back. We can also unmount by clicking that button. Uh, and then we want to go back. Once on here, the first thing that we want to do is do a factory reset. So hit the select button on factory reset, delete all user data, and hit enter, and wait as it performs the factory reset. All right, so you can see it finished, factory reset complete. Next one is we want to go to install zip, uh, not install zip, apply SD card update dot zip. Hit enter and click down once and then click yes install the SD card update now this should take a little while so be patient uh, and I'll come back to you guys when it's all done okay so now once it's all complete we can go ahead and hit reboot options and click reboot system now This will then launch the stock Kindle Fire Boot screen, uh, and let me bring it into focus for you guys. And 
after this reboots, we should be on the stock Kindle Fire OS. Everything gone um, back to a fresh start. So if you want to return to the store, you want to sell it, do whatever you want, uh, everything will be gone. No evidence will be left behind. Okay, so after that pretty long boot up, it's basically like having a first boot up. Uh, you should be brought back to what you first got when you first got your Kindle. You're going to have to set it up again. Basically, everything is back to the way it was when it came fresh out of the box. Uh, this is how to unroot your Kindle Fire running version 6.2.2. .2. And this has been iTouch Stuff here that's spelled with a zero. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.